We've got the two mile four furlong maiden chase here. The Mike Westy maiden, number one downtown man Jim Murray, Fathy Falls D Thompson, Merchants Hill Pondypool Racing, Prospect for D Hooley, Snow King for Leon Van Rensburg, the favourite, Barcat Old Davy Lad, Ice Gem for C Beckwith, Mango Sorbe, the rank outsider for My Stable, Celian Fortunata for Hems, the assassin for Joshua Sutherland, and completing the lineup, Zulu Queen for C Beckwith. And they're off and running here at Doncaster. Dark clouds hanging over the course. The rain has been pouring down for the last week or so, and the ground is very, very heavy here. So let's see how these horses take to these very testing conditions as they come to the first, all over it safely. Mango Sorbet is currently the back marker for Ryan Tamasebi, and the leader is Downtown Man. And that one in the black with the red silks, we've seen some good runners from those silks so far in the league this season and that one's just ahead of the favorite snow king for the champion trainer leon van rensburg zulu king on the outside of that one and wider still in the middle of the course another familiar set of silks the green and cold hoops for craig allen that one's celian fortunata as they all get over that flight safely one who wasn't particularly fluent at that one was ice gem but no serious mistake as downtown man continues to lead the way for us here at Doncaster as they pass the stands into the next fence really attack that one hard downtown man beautiful leap and the others all jumped it reasonably well as well Snow King is just a few lengths off this leader the pace that is continuing to be set by downtown man as they come past what will be the winning post when they complete the next circuit but they're turning left hand and running away from the stands here at Doncaster downtown man is the leader a few lengths back to Snow King that's running alongside Faithy Falls and the assassin on the outside of that one as they come to the water jump all over it safely there Celian Fortunata is travelling in well behind that leading pack and on the rail we've got prospect for david hooley just ahead of ice gem mango sorbet merchant hill and back at old are the back markers at the moment downtown man extending the lead at the moment it's an ever-increasing lead of now around three and a half to four lengths maybe more back to the assassin for joshua sutherland we've got three of the top jumps trainers in behind this leader as they come to that open ditch there it's downtown man a few lengths to the assassin snow king and C celian fortunata they're split by Fathy Falls as well and half a length back to Zulu Queen in the blue with the white sash and the orange sleeves there for Craig Beckwith prospect on the outside of that one as they come the next flight another mistake there from ice gem and as you can see that one's going to drop back and be joined by mango sorbet and merchants hill at the rear of the field so we're coming towards the final nine and a half furlongs here at doncaster for this two mile four furlong maiden chase downtown man still in the lead couple of lengths gap now to the assassin celian fortunata and snow king moving up alongside on the outside of that one and faddy falls still wants to hang on to the back of that pack as well but the jockey just niggling away on that one perhaps not traveling as well as some of those horses just in front of it quite tightly bunched in behind those so there's the leader a couple of lengths to the chasing pack and then a couple of lengths to the pack at the chasing that pack at the rear of the field as they come over that next flight that pack at the rear of the field is currently being headed by mango sorbet zulu queen who was in the initial chasing pack has now dropped out towards the rear of the field alongside prospect back old is one that has been pulled up not traveling didn't particularly make any mistakes but just not on a going day perhaps doesn't like the ground or something may have gone amiss hopefully it's just the former and that there's no serious injury for that horse we come in towards the final five and a half furlongs here at Doncaster in the next flight another great jump from downtown man impressive leaps from Celian Fortunata and Snow King as well Fadi Falls has moved past the assassin the assassin just being scrubbed along to maintain its position and stay in the race Mango Sorbet and Prospect now trying to move forward for Ryan Tamasebi and David Hooley they want to try and have a say in this race as well and the oh bad mistake there from Prospect and Mango Sorbet wasn't great either downtown man still in the lead and has some of these stretch out and hard at work in behind snow king and Celian and fortunata fadi falls and the assassin all trying to pick up this runner a really great jump there from snow king has allowed it to eat up all of that lead that downtown man had built and now downtown man has got the champion trainers racehorse right up alongside it eye to eye as they come to the next flight better jump from downtown man this time this is turning into a jumping competition with a furlong and a half here to go has downtown man won the race with that wonderful leap there let's see what kind of jump it puts in at the last as snow king and celian fortunata come at it to attack and this time a better jump from snow king and snow king now takes up the lead as we come towards the finishing line jumping is the name of the game and when the time 
counted when it really mattered when the pressure was on Snow King put in the better leap at the last fence for Leon Van Rensburg and takes the Mike Westy maiden great run in second though for downtown man set the pace and stayed on really well just out jumped there at the last he tried to see off Snow King at the fence before that but when it really mattered at the last it didn't quite match that jump at the second last for Jim Murray so that one takes second place sealing Fortunata for Hems another good runner for that stable in third Prospect ran on and stayed on into fourth for David Hooley and the Assassin not far behind that one in fifth place completes the top five but well done to Snow King another good looking chaser for Leon Van Rensburg wins the Mike Westy Maiden